Hi, I'm Scott Mendes, uh, Executive Director of Western Harvest Ministries, and we're coming to you today with a Western Harvest Media Profile. I tell you what, we have been tremendously blessed this weekend, been out on the road going to a few places to have a chance to minister. One of the places that we are uh, sitting at and coming to you right now is from Harrison, Arkansas at the Cripple Creek Cowboy Church, third annual ranch rodeo. And, Crooked Creek, excuse me, Crooked Creek Cowboy Church. Um, got a good friend with me here today, uh, Theron McClendon. McClendon, is that how you say it? McCammond. McCammond, exactly. Um, we had a great time today, didn't we, Theron? It was awesome. I tell you what, I just these things that we have up here, they are amazing, and I'm just so thankful that uh, you had a chance to come up here and witness with us, and uh, you know, just spread the word. And that's what it's all about, really. I mean, you know, we we really enjoy putting on a ranch rodeo, and we love the people to come and the com competition and the contestants. But the main reason that we're all here today is spread the gospel of Jesus. And we just want to really thank you for everything you've done in coming up here. And uh, shoot, it's just it's been a blast. Darren, tell us a little bit about uh, what actually happened. I know we had a chance to break all the buttons on our shirts and had a few horses buck with a few guys today, a lot of action. Tell us a little bit about the, the vision of the church, the arena, and uh, what we did today outside of the ministry. You bet. Well, we, we built this arena about uh, eight months ago, last fall, and uh, the main thing was it was to get people here, you know, to let us know what we're about. You know, here at Crooked Creek Cowboy Church, we're, we're about spreading the gospel of Jesus whatever we can do to get them here, you know. And so we put up an arena, and, uh, you know, today we had a ranch rodeo. Last night we had a roping. We had 320 teams entered. It was an all-night marathon. Great time. Uh, the weather's been perfect. You know, we couldn't ask for, you know, a nicer day. And uh, today we had, a, in a ranch rodeo, we had a pinning. We had a trailer loading. We had a mugging, and we had a branding. Now here we run them a little different. We run four head of steers out. A team comes in. We run all the events at once. There you go. Everybody, you got a five-minute time limit. And it did get pretty Western at times, you know, but uh, it was great entertainment and uh, great messages. And, you know, it's, and that's just, that's what we're about. And uh, we just, we're, we're so thankful to be here and we're happy to have it. Well, that was awesome. Now, I understand you won uh, second with me and on our run, but you yes. also won third. There were some guys that were able to uh, be a little better on time and won first, and that was exciting. Um, you know, the weather held out for us really good and the ministry. Tell us a little bit about uh, Pastor Cooper and uh, when you guys meet here at the cell barn and just the, kind of the mission statement for the Cowboy Church. Well, uh, Tim Cooper, he's our pastor. Uh, Tim's a great man of God. He's been here uh, since the church has pretty much started. Um, Tim, he, he's a cattleman. He runs uh, about 700 head of yearlings a year, or at any one time, you know, and that's how he makes his living. But also, he, he's a pastor. He's a great man of God. Our vision at Crooked Creek Cowboy Church is to spread the gospel of Jesus. You know, just doing what we can to let everybody know it's not about us. It's about Jesus you know and and that's just that's what we're all about we meet here on Monday nights at uh, seven o'clock six o'clock we usually have the doors open and we'll eat some pizza or hang out and visit and everything and then at seven o'clock Tim will bring us a message and uh, along with that we have other things going on too you know but that's our main sanctuaries on a Monday evening and anybody can get here and it's just it's great we're five minutes north of Harrison Arkansas on the way to Branson and it just uh, it's a, it's a fun, exciting times that are happening here, and that's what we're all about. Awesome. Um, awesome. Theron, tell us just a little bit about your family now. You used to rodeo. We were around each other a little bit. Um, once yeah. we saw each other and got to spend some time together this weekend, we realized that we know a lot of the same people. Um, how important do you think it is for these guys that are trying to rodeo like you and I did to understand who they are in Christ before they get out there on the road and kind of, you know, get in trouble and get and get tempted with a lot of temptation and struggle and how important it is for these guys to, to be involved in a church that supports them and sends them out on the road? Well, that's, is that Jesus? <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's amazing, uh, you know, that's for me anyway. I'll give you for me. You know, I've been on both sides of the coin, the before and the after, and uh, rodeoing. And, you know, before, somewhat I never really thought about it, you know, until just something happened. And, and it all happened just like that. It all happened one day. But I noticed that afterwards, rodeoing 
it was still tough, but in a way it was easier. It was easier for me to, to load up and go to a rodeo, and I, I was at peace with no matter what happened. Yeah. You know, used to, boy, if, and, and you've been there, you know, if you didn't yeah. if you didn't win it or if, you you know, something happened or maybe you stubbed your toe or something, yeah. you know, you're just, you're all in yourself. Well, well I noticed that uh, after I became a Christian that it's all right. Yeah. We're here for a bigger reason, exactly. you know, and that was the thing. And surprisingly, rodeoing came easier. You know, uh, I ended up winning more. You know, and you end up, you end up, uh, you, it just, it just comes easier. I don't know how else to explain it, you know, but, uh, and I, I think it's all, uh, just how you're led and what you're there for, you know, maybe I wasn't necessarily so focused on, uh, you know, winning as I was trying to be a Christian Exactly. and, uh, rodeo become a, a sideline. That's awesome. You know, we talked a little bit today. I was able to minister. We'll be able to see some of that footage, but ministered on some of the idols that we have in our heart and uh, some of the reasons uh, that we resist change and how we don't sometimes understand how to cooperate with God. God's Word is uh, real and alive and active in our life, and He desires so much for us. Uh, it was just a great blessing to be with you here this weekend and to watch the power of God uh, fall and the gospel was presented with the Ranch Rodeo. If you could say anything to those that may be watching this video, what would you like to say in our closing thoughts? Uh, the main thing is anybody out there that, that uh, you know, whether you, whether you know Jesus or not, find a church, okay? But if you really don't know him, I mean, get there. Just Just hear the word. I promise you. One of two things, you're going to regret it if you don't, but you'll never regret it if you do. I mean, that's I, that's basically all I can say because the power will change your life tremendously. And uh, it is an amazing feeling. And no matter what you do, there is nothing out there that can compare to it. Amen. That's a very good word. Theron, thank you so much from our ministry to your Cowboy Church for having us. We look forward to next year and staying partners in the ministry. We love you. God bless you. And we'll see you down the road.